this is Mitchell from Gamefront, and this is God of War Origins Collection. Hey guys, welcome back to our God of War Chains of Olympus walkthrough. This is part of the God of War Origins and Collection uh, the for the PlayStation it 3. It became clear that the task ahead was more than he could have ever imagined. Uh, I don't know, I can imagine uh, some pretty heavy tasks. Once again, the strange, lingering melody could be heard through the black fog of Morpheus, haunting Kratos. As much as I, you know, understand that this game was uh, made on the PSP, uh, the chains that are seared on Kratos' uh, arms, they look pretty bad. Actually, you know what? It's time to upgrade this. Oh yeah! I got my twirly blades! Oh, big spender. Oh my god, leave me alone! Get out of here! Whoop! Uh, uh, yeah, da, 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 da. Oh man, I missed that move. Oh, man, I took a, took a lot more damage than I really wanted to take there. I love how fast Kratos can scale walls in this game. It's probably like my favorite, one of my favorite aspects of God of War. Kratos does not waste time climbing, uh, climbing walls. Huh, I wonder what the purpose of this little area is. There's gotta be something to do here. Well, maybe it's, it's a place we're gonna backtrack to. Or maybe I'm just missing out on a super cool secret. If I am, please let me know. The temple on which Kratos stood was the sun chariot of Helios. The oh, very Helios. chariot that the fire steeds pulled across the sky every day. Allowing the brilliance of Helios to shine down on all mankind. Kratos. Athena, what madness has befallen us? Kratos, there is not much time. Olympus needs you. I grow tired of the gods' request, Athena. I have given enough. Now take these nightmares from my head. It is not for you to say when your servitude ends. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. The God of the Sun has been torn from the sky. This temple on which you stand is the Chariot of Helios. Without their master to reign them, the Fire Steeds have driven the Sun Chariot into the Earth. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Many of the gods have fallen into a deep slumber. Soon, all will succumb to the black grip of Morpheus. What would you have me do? You must find Helios and return him to the sky. Lest the world of gods and men be lost forever. Only his light can release the grasp of Morpheus. Athena! Athena! Alright, now, maybe it's just me, but I find that whole thing incredibly funny, considering that this is, you know, Helios that we're talking about. The very same Helios that, and I mean, this is probably a spoiler, but really, if you know, if you watch any of the trailers for God of War 3, you know that Helios is a boss that you fight very early on in the game, you rip his head off, and he becomes your flashlight. 
So I think it's really funny that we're all freaking out that Helios has fallen from the sky. And when I say funny, I mean that in ir in a ironic way. I definitely can understand why people would be freaking out, or why gods would be freaking out over the sun god falling from the sky, but it's just, I think it's funny. And th I know this is a precursor to God of War 1, but the, the fact that uh, Kratos is acting as like the god, the, the god's bitch right now is very amusing. Oh, what are these guys? Oh my god, stop it! Oh, that was annoying. these guys. They throw bombs. Oh, stop it! I will kill you! As soon as I can get my hands on you. Oh, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going home. What? I don't know. So they don't like uh, when I use my strong attack on them. Whoop! Oh, I hope I get help soon. Oof! I got through that. Oh yes, sweet health. Heart is beating like 5,000 times a minute right now. Alright, those guys took me by surprise. They're not an enemy from any of the other God of Wars I have played. didn't last for so long. What can I do with this? Oh. oh, I don't like you very much. Right, what do we got here? Phoenix feather. Could really use a Gorgon eye right now. Seems like if I use my uh, standard square square triangle combo, they'll just uh, back step away out of it. So I'm gonna stop doing that. However, I can still use my launcher. Get out of here! Whoop! Oh. Gotta get rid of these bomb guys first. Uh. 
Nope. Almost got it. Oh man, that guy went for a ride. Grab you. Oh. Come on, that has to be it. Last one. Last one, right? Oh, I sure hope there's health around the corner. in peace. Uh, I hate potted potted plants. Anything over here? God of War game without harpies. And it wouldn't be me playing God of War game if I didn't just mash the circle button on these harpies. Which who would put a switch there, really? I already got that uh, chest over there. We got another switch over here. I am going to put a switch where only Kratos can reach it. Because he's the only one strong enough to pull those statues. So there's a save point on the left one. I want to check out what's in this one over here, though. Looks like that was a mistake. Oh, he can break guard! Oh, I bet you wish you could hit the ground, don't you? Bet you wish you could touch the ground. I'm not gonna let you. Uh, let's save our game. 
And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching our God of War Origins Collection walkthrough, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.